come to this session of biology we are going to introduce biology before we start I would like to tell you what we are going to talk about in this session we are going to define biology and then we are also going to look at some of the branches of biology biology is a term which we can define as the study of living things so when you're studying when you are looking at animals when you are looking at plants then you are studying biology all those are the living things so the term biology means the study of living things biology comes from two greek words one is bios and the second is logos and bios means life and logos means the study of so when we bring these two words together bios and logos we get the study of life that's why we say that biology is the study of living things now biology has branches there are very many branches of biology but we shall look only at a few looking at a few does not mean that we have exhausted all the branches of biology we have a branch called zoology zoology is a branch of biology that deals with the study of animals you are looking at the lions you are looking at the leopards you are looking at the cows you are looking at the lion uh, gilafis elephants all those ones fall into the branch called zoology we have another branch which is called botany if you are looking at plants lemons oranges you're looking at mangoes apples strawberries wheat maize all those plants they fall into botany which is a branch of biology and that deals with the study of plants we have another branch which is called anatomy anatomy this one is the study of the structures of living things for example when we are looking at animals we may look at the bones we may look at the muscles those are structures of organisms if we are looking at the plants we may look at the xylem we may look at the phloem vessels crutches leaves and those are the structures of plants so if we are looking at the structures of organisms those ones are under the branch of anatomy which is the branch of biology and which deals with the study of the structures of living organism then we have another branch which is physiology which is the study of the functioning of the body parts how do our body parts function how do they work for example the heart the heartbeat the digestive system when we eat food it goes into the digestive system food is digested the system how it works the movement of blood in the vessels movement of impulse in the nerves that is the functioning of the body parts and if we are looking at those body parts and how they function that branch of biology is what we call physiology then we have another branch which is nutrition nutrition is the study of food and feeding in organism if we are looking at the different types of food for example carbohydrates 
proteins, vitamins, lipids, mineral salts. Those are foods. And if we are looking at the modes of feeding, we have the biting and chewing, piercing and sucking, and many other types of feeding methods. Then we are looking at nutrition, which is the study of food and feeding in organism. It is also a branch of biology. We have another branch which is taxonomy. The study of classification of organisms. We know that we have two kingdoms. We have the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. But when we divide this kingdom, we group them again into phylum. Then from the phylum, we continue to group them into classes. Down the classes, we continue to group them into orders. From the orders, we group them into families. Families into genus and genus into species. That grouping of organisms is what we are referring to as the classification of organisms. Putting the organisms in their respective species. And that's what we are referring to as taxonomy, which is a branch of biology. Then there is another branch which is genetics, which is the study of inheritance. In most cases, when a child is born, they always say the child resembles the father. The child resembles the mother. Why? This is because the child inherited the genes from the father. He inherited the characters from the father. And the study of inheritance is a branch of biology and that branch is what we call genetics. Then we have another branch which is called ethology. Ethology is the study of the behaviors of animals. How human beings behave. How animals behave. If you are looking at the behaviors, the way human beings act, and the way animals act, that is the study of behavior, which is called ethology. And it is one of the branches of biology. Then we have another branch of biology, which is ecology. Ecology is the study of organisms in relationship to their environment. If we are studying an organism in relationship to its environment, how is the organism affected by the environment? How does it change to the changing situations in the environment? That is what we are calling ecology which is the study of organisms in relation to their environment and it is a branch of biology. So we have given the definition of biology as the study of living things. We have looked at uh, the terms bios and logos which means life and the other one meaning the study of so bringing biology to be the study of life or the study of living things. We have looked at the different branches of biology. We have looked at uh, ecology. We have looked at ethology. We have looked at nutrition. We have looked at uh, taxonomy. We have looked at zoology. We have looked at botany. We have looked at physiology and genetics. But there are many others. So next time when we come back, we shall look at the characteristics of living things.